Hey guys, it's Mateen again from fengineer.com. Uh, this video is just going to be a really brief video about how to insert your tracking pixel. Now, I've, I've touched upon it before. There's actually a video tutorial that's probably going to be better than this on that Teespring have actually done officially about how to insert your tra uh, tracking pixel, but just in case you can't be bothered seeing that and you're just watching this video by chance, uh, I'll go through how to do it. So, say you've made your, let's close this and make this again, so you've made your ad and you've come to this section, all you do is create pixel, we'll put checkouts as your goal, um, we'll call it I love dogs two, two, create pixel, I can add pixel myself, copy this, close, open it in notepad, where's me notepad? Paste this thing. Format font fourteen. Okay, we want this number here, right? So copy that. Control C. Let's go to your campaign. This is my campaign. Um, Got to find it. Find it over here. Click this. Conversion pixels. And all you do, click this campaign tab and paste it in the update. Once that saves, then that's it. You've connected your Facebook ad to your Teespring campaign. And now, as your traffic comes in and as you make sales, your conversions will be tracked through Facebook. Now, note Facebook doesn't actually pick up every single conversion you make on Teespring so if the numbers are a bit off usually in most cases Teespring would be uh, like you'd have more sales in Teespring than you'd have conversions tracked in Facebook that's completely normal sometimes a pixel um, doesn't fire or sometimes people buy more than one product so you only get one conversion even if you make like three sales it, because sometimes people buy just three hoodies in the one shot right so Facebook will pick that up as one conversion, but Teespring obviously, obviously is going to show you three sales. Um, anyway, that's that's just how you do the conversion tracking with Facebook. It's not very hard. With uh, before, it used to be a big deal with having to email Teespring support and everything, but now they've made it pretty pretty easy. So that's about it for this video. Um, I'll join you guys in the next one.